Welcome back. Time is 6.53. And right now we want to get you ready with these top stories as you head out the door. Developing right now, several agencies on the scene of a house fire in Tony. They got the call just before 4 o'clock this morning on Grimwood Road and Pulaski Pike. Firefighters say nobody, though, is hurt. Experts answering your COVID questions. The Alabama Medical Association is hosting a Facebook Live webcast this afternoon. State Health Officer Dr. Scott Harris will be joined by the Medical Association's president. It's set to begin at 4. Missing the Cab County woman, Tammy Lynn Walters, last seen around Kirk Road in Rainsville Tuesday evening. She's 48 years old. She was driving a white Kia Optima. If you know anything about her whereabouts, call Rainsville Police. Missing Alabama A&M graduate, 25-year-old Jelani Day was reported missing in Illinois last month. Authorities did find his car, but there's no word on where he is or if there are any leads. Day's mother is offering a $25,000 reward to whoever finds him. Be on the lookout. The Marshall County Sheriff's Office looking for this woman. They say he's been passing bad checks. They say she passed checks belonging to somebody else three times this month. If you recognize her or know where she is, call the Marshall County Sheriff's Office. A Shoals business raided by federal and state agencies. The Lexington Police Chief says Francisco Guerra, owner of Global Special Effects, was taken into custody and then to Huntsville. He said the raid dealt with federal warrants. Huntsville budget vote. Here's what's included in that $245 million proposed operating budget. Spending for public safety, road resurfacing, mental health care, and parks and recreation, plus a 3% cost of living raise for city workers. Missing big cats return. 256 Exotics says it found the two African servals that had dug themselves out of a barn in Huntsville last week. Well, we reached out to the store's owners, but they declined to comment. Need a job? Cabela's is hiring. Hiring event from 10 to 7 today. You can go online and apply or go to the store and do it on the spot. You can get benefits and perks, including a huge discount on merchandise. Right now, that store has 28 openings. 2021 Downtown Open. It's an urban mini golf course with 30 holes surrounding Huntsville's downtown square. You can take advantage of this unique mini golf experience for free 24 hours a day. It runs today through October 3rd, Carson. Spectacular weather for any outdoor plans you might have for your Thursday. Chilly this morning. Keep the jacket nearby. We warm up quickly in the upper 60s by lunchtime. 71 degrees. That is our forecast high this afternoon. Bottom line, just get outside and enjoy this beautiful fall weather. If you can't today, don't worry. It's sticking around. We're warming up into the mid 70s for your Friday. Back into the lower 80s by Sunday and Monday. No rain chance to speak of. Those overnight lows also very comfortable in the mid 50s. What a beautiful forecast. Well, for 24-7 coverage you can count on, head to waytv.com. And, of course, don't forget the news continues with Good Morning America up next. We are so glad you let us be part of your Thursday morning. We can't wait to see you back here tomorrow. And for Until now, then. we all have a local news update at 723. Yeah, we'll see you back here tomorrow.